probably half the consultants in the company are under this woman and that's you know where I ended up rolling up into in the team that I joined. So hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome for the first time. Um, one of the things that I have been talking about on my channel is my experience as a LuLaRoe fashion consultant. And this was in the 2015 to 2017 time period, so it's a little dated, my experience, but um, people have been interested in it, and it was sort of that interesting time right before it really like shot off and took off. So um, it's been an interesting thing to kind of revisit now, um, you know, two years later. So based on some questions that I had gotten from previous videos, I wanted to do a video about my experience in teams. So this will be both like joining a team, my experience within that team, my own team of people under me, and then what happened when I quit LuLaRoe. And just a heads up, I am reading notes off my phone. I know I did this in a previous video and I ended up sort of like looking away a lot. So I'm going to try not to do that. But if I do, that's what's happening. So while I was a customer, before I joined as a consultant, I joined several different groups on Facebook and um, purchased from different consultants and just kind of tried to see whose style I liked and who I thought I might mesh with as a member of a team. Um, ultimately, the team that I joined, I had never even purchased from this woman. Uh, she was not local to me or anything. I just joined her team because she seemed super, super organized and professional. That's what I look for. I'm a very organized person. Um, so without knowing it, I actually joined into one of the largest teams in LuLaRoe. Um, and this team had a very large East Coast presence, which at the time, majority of LuLaRoe was West Coast based. It wasn't really even that well known on the East Coast. And um, it also rolled up to one of the top ranking consultants in the company. You might know her. She was the first consultant to earn a million dollar bonus check from LuLaRoe. So probably half the consultants in the company are under this woman. And that's, you know, where I ended up rolling up into in the team that I joined. So I was really lucky uh, because like I said, I ended up just happening into a great sponsor. So she actually had a background in sales. She ran her business very professionally and she provided me lots of information up front as far as um, what different options I had for joining. Um, at the time you could select which styles you wanted to carry. So she helped me, you know, making that selection. She helped me figure out what other supplies and things I would need. Um, and through my time with LuLaRoe at least, she never actively recruited for other team members. Um, people just ended up joining her team just like I did because they liked her. So the career ladder in LuLaRoe is that you start as just a fashion consultant. Once you have people under you that you can earn money from, and I'll talk a little more about that um, going forward, um, but then you become a sponsor level. Um, once you have a certain number of team members under you, then you become a trainer. Uh, once you have a certain number of trainers under you, you become a coach. And then the highest level in the company is the mentor level when you have a certain number of coaches and trainers and sponsors under you. So around the time that I joined, my sponsor advanced to the trainer level. And I think actually she became a coach shortly after that. Don't quote me on that. And so also at the time that I joined, she was really actively doing a lot to set at least her direct recruits up for success. So, um, and kind of help monitor and mentor them. So for example, she would create um, these shared spreadsheets in Google Docs for us, which um, I actually had my own system that I was already using. So I didn't really use a lot of what she provided, but she gave a lot of good tracking sheets and things for tracking like your inventory and expenses and income and um, you know you had to order a certain amount each month so there was like a little tracker to make sure you were like doing the right number of orders each month and like I said they were shared so she could kind of monitor and make sure everyone was like on track uh, to be successful so I while I had my own methods for tracking a lot of that stuff I did like minimally track what she had asked us to and I do appreciate that she set that up for people um, especially people you know who maybe were weren't coming in with any kind of experience um, it was certainly helpful for them just to like get them started 
So like my sponsor, I also never really actively recruited for people to join my team. Um, mostly I had just joined LuLaRoe because I wanted to sell clothes and kind of had a little side gig and I didn't really want the hassle of being responsible for other people. That is also why I don't have kids and why I don't want people directly reporting to me at work. Um, it's a lot of responsibility. However, a couple people did reach out to me because they were interested in joining LuLaRoe. And so um, I did end up with two direct recruits. So the first one was um, a woman who I had met actually through another business and she knew I was doing LuLaRoe. She was interested in it. Um, she actually came over. She lived probably about an hour away from me, but she um, came by and like saw how I had everything set up and I showed her everything. I showed her like all my inventory trackers, my financial records, everything um, I was very honest with her and she decided to join under me so at that time there was a queue to join um, of probably I don't think it was a couple months but it was probably at least several weeks and during that time um, the products that were in stock kept changing so like things that we had selected for her that she wanted to carry as part of her inventory we had to keep kind of changing and readjusting that was just how it was at that time um, but anyway she joined I think she did really well um, but she did some things that I don't know if they were against LuLaRoe policy. In my opinion, some of the ways that she just like ran her business were sort of like in bad taste. Lots of discounts and, you know, at the time people weren't discounting everything. So um, I don't know exactly how she was running her business. I do know she had several people in her downline, which kind of grew my overall team. And actually when I was resigning, which I'll talk about in a little bit, um, and I reached out to all of them, some of them actually wrote me back and like asked me how to do it. So I don't know that they all wanted to be in the company either. And the second person to join my team was a really sweet girl who actually lives local to me. And she had called LuLaRoe and asked about like how to join and they gave her the numbers of a few consultants who were local to her. I was the only one who answered the phone. So I was the one she ended up talking to and joining under. Um, and she was really organized, conscientious, did a lot of research and preparation. Um, she was really fabulous. She was a school teacher too. And I think she started out really strong, but then like she had a baby and I resigned and I'm not exactly sure like at what point she resigned, but I'm pretty sure she probably did, you know, within a year or so after me. So in order to earn money from your downline, they have to order a certain amount um, of inventory from LuLaRoe each month. And then you also have to order a certain amount in order to qualify as a sponsor. So um, that amount was about three times what I usually ordered in a month. So I actually only ever qualified as a sponsor one month. Um, this was in October of 2016 and I just like happened to notice that everyone in my downline was going to total whatever amount they needed to be and so I kind of just pushed it and ordered more than I would have during that month and I ended up earning like a $600 bonus check so it only happened the one time but I was technically um, like at the sponsor title uh, for one month. So what happened when I quit LuLaRoe? Uh, so when I first decided to quit which was in January of 2017 I told my sponsor and she was always looking out for us so she actually told me to hold off because she had heard that LuLaRoe was going to implement a 100% buyback policy which if you've been following the saga of LuLaRoe you know that they did and then they kind of quickly rolled it back so I was able to hold back on going out of business until I was able to take advantage of that policy um, and kind of that sweet spot before they took it away again so I I really lucked out there. So then next, of course, I told my handful of downline consultants. That second girl who joined under me, um, I know her big question was like, who will her new sponsor be? Or like, you know, who should she go to if she has questions? And um, technically she was supposed to roll up to my sponsor, um, which I'm sure, you know, in practice is what happened. But on paper, I think, that actually people who went out of business never actually like went off the rolls of LuLaRoe. And so like if you looked at um, like a list of you know who reported to who, I think people who went out of business at least for a time were still on the list. So I don't know if she ever directly rolled up to my sponsor, but that's what was supposed to happen. Um, and then like I said, some of the other consultants who were part of my downline ended up asking me, like, how do I also quit? So, um, you know, I had some correspondence with some of them as well. 
So I'm not sure what exactly happened to everybody. Um, I know that my sponsor is still actively selling in LuLaRoe and actually her husband also quit his job to sell full time with her. Um, but I see a lot of consultants from kind of like my generation uh, at that time in our downline are in some of the uh, you know, like former consultant groups on Facebook. And so I think a lot of people at this point have left the company. So I hope you found that interesting about teams and kind of how they worked and my experience with teams. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Leave me a thumbs up to let me know that you like these LuLaRoe real talk videos because I have a few more topics that I'd like to talk about. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Guys, I got a ring light for Christmas. <laughs>